Ceremony, it's the start of the, uh, that was the continuation of the building, but it's the start of the putting in the first. Uh, so we thought we'd have a special uh, ceremony, uh, and uh, in a moment, uh, our master builder, Jason, is going to uh, lay the brick at the same time as our property steward, Anne, is going to say the appropriate words. Uh, and uh, it's not going to take that long, really. It's only a short, uh, short uh, so. Uh, so welcome, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Uh, reading from Matthew chapter 7, therefore anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the stream rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Well, these are very familiar words, uh, and uh, you're not going to get a 20 minute sermon, you'd be pleased to hear that. Um, but I think it does ponder us to think about what we, what we represent uh, here, particularly the church. Uh, and of course the church represents the Christian faith of Christ. Christ is described in the New Testament as, uh, as the cornerstone or the foundation stone. It actually says that Christ was the stone that the builders rejected. It wasn't, wasn't good enough. He threw it away because it was uh, disposed of. And yet it became the most important stone, uh, it said. And, uh, and so there's something about uh, building uh, on Christ, building on, the, on, on that rock, on that stone, as a foundation, what is it? What is it? What is that foundation? And uh, the foundation, I think, represents uh, all that you know that we can build on in our lives, in society, uh, and in the church. It represents justice. It's a foundation of justice. It's a foundation of freedom. It's the foundation of peace. It's the foundation of forgiveness and mercy and grace. It's the foundation of love and compassion and honesty and truth. And all of these virtues is what the foundation of our lives and of our society should be. Uh, and so that's what this building will represent. It's what Christ represents. And hopefully it's what, as a church, what we will represent uh, in this community. Uh, and so that's where we're going to lay this uh, ceremonial breeze block as a, as a symbol of that foundation uh, that, we, that, we, that, we, that we have uh, in Christ. So, uh, Jason's going to lay the block. Anne's going to come forward and say the, say the words at the same time. And we all say Amen. <laughs> this is a specially painted block. <laughs> we won't be able to see it when it's done, but we know it's there. And there you go. In faith, hope and trust, we celebrate the beginning of the building of this, our church, by laying this foundation stone in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
the name of Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone of all things in heaven and on earth. Amen. The Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the, and the glory, glory forever and ever. Amen. We sing, we said we're going to sing this even when we open the church. It's finished. We're going to sing.